Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm at London Gatwick Airport at South Terminal. Now, normally when you come to the airport, you're ready to board your flight or maybe you're picking somebody up. Now, normally you book a hotel right near the airport, but it's not very often you can actually stay in a hotel in the terminal building itself. That's exactly what I'm going to go and do now. I'm going to go and check out a hotel called Block Hotels and I've also got runway views. This should be interesting. Let's go check it out. So the hotel is literally in the South Terminal departures, which is through here. Why walk when you can cruise? Yeah, I'm one of those annoying people that is just literally letting it take me there. Okay, I got bored. This is one long conveyor. Oh, wow, that's loud. So, the arrivals hall is just up here. Now, the hotel doesn't have any restaurants or facilities like that, but there's a Weatherspoons literally just in front of me, so I can go there for breakfast in the morning. I see a sign just up there, Block Hotel. Seems like I'm going through a door I shouldn't be going through. There you go, there's the sign. Block hotels, so... This level... No! Number two, where I gotta go. Reception is here then. It's weird, I'm still in the terminal building. Oh, okay, this is reception. It is literally right next to departures in the South Terminal. Love the design. Let's go check in. Okay, so checked in. I'm at floor number eight. So I've got to use my card to get to my floor. <laughs> Departures is floor number three, and then five, six, seven, and eight is the hotel. This feels so strange. I don't like the dark wood look, soft lighting. The only thing that's lit up are the, are the doors. I'm right at the end. Eight, four, three. Oh yeah, I am right at the end. There's a window here. Wow, look at that. I can see all over the airport. Is that the runway there? I think it might be actually. Super excited about this. Can you see me? Very soft lighting. Wow, for a second I was like, I'm in a huge room. That's a, a mirror. Good idea, because it uh, makes you think you're in a really big room. This door, wow. I'm really having to use strength to open it. So this is my, this is my room. I like the design and hang on a second. Look at the huge window. And there are my runway views. I'll turn the lights off in a little bit and we'll have a good look out there and see what we can see. We can already see over towards the North Terminal and the Sky Bridge just over there. British Airways, the block look is pretty cool um, I don't know how you feel about the padding I like it <laughs> but you can get different variations of the rooms so you can get some that have like a window there um, but I've just been given this room I kind of like it because I can lay in bed and look out to the runway you look at planes coming in and land pretty cool right I'll do the bed test in just a moment but first there's loads of cool little gadgets to check out and this display does them all. So I've got a setting for all bed and WC. So oh, that obviously turns it off. That's just the bed light. That's just the toilet light. I can change my temperature just here and get it a little bit warmer. And also I think these are the blinds over there. 
let's have a look so let's take it down yeah it is look and that's a blackout blind stop take it back up again so coming in i've got a bit like the uh, the easy hotels where the hangers but these hangers actually come off and then you just literally put them on here the trusty hair dryer good use of mirrors by the door actually so the toilet the bathroom this looks like it's an all-in-one yeah so this is the shower monsoon shower and also if i need to do other bits i can use that someone has been polishing these they look good complimentary shower gel i don't know if i'm overly a big fan of the wet rooms because um you've got to make sure you dry it because when you want to go in later to use the toilet or whatever it still might be a little bit wet but that's obviously where the drainage is toilet or a little mirror <laughs> i've never seen toilet roll in a square box like that I like that nice touch nice little sink as well and some hand wash oh that's where you put your towels just up there the towels are on the bed i kind of like the the shower room really nice design frosted glass again for your modesty so what's around here other than pretty amazing views it's quite a big area actually but here is just extra storage and there's even more hangers here so a light up here there's no extra light but loads of space for your storage big old mirror something to that but let's check out the bed huge tv there's my remote some complimentary water and some plug sockets really like this light i want one of these pretty cool so there's a seat to sit on i guess there's my workstation and i've took my shoes off as well this is a nice bed really comfy you sink into it I tell you what i love the fact that the tv is perfectly center to the bed if that was slightly off just a little bit that would really annoy me i can actually see aircraft coming in which is pretty cool from here i love the purple lighting but this is a really big double bed as well these are those pillows where your head really sinks into it some people like them personally i'm not a fan and before you ask this is well soundproof i can't hear anything other than the slight gentle hum of the air condition considering there's a plane right now taking off nothing That's pretty cool. The only thing that's missing, of course, is a kettle, because I would love a cup of tea in the morning and just look out over the runway. I know this is supposed to be a basic hotel, but I tell you what, if they had a couple of chairs there as well, that would be really nice. It'd be a plane spotter's dream. I've just noticed as well, it says here, relax and enjoy your stay with free hot drinks available adjacent to the lift on the fifth and the seventh floor. Do you want to check that out? I was just saying to myself how I was gutted there's no tea and coffee on the fifth and the seventh floor so let's go down one level it's so weird to think you're still in the terminal building i mean it's just going to be so easy in the morning to go and get a flight literally just walk out the hotel and turn left when i arrived i did think it was weird i did see a couple come from floor eight to go down to floor seven and i did think why are they doing that maybe they're Seeing some friends or something? Now I know, it's to get the free hot drinks. Floor seven. Where's the tea? Where's the free hot drinks? Hang on a second. Hot drinks machine. It must be in here. Is there a light? Hello? Oh, the light's just come on. Sleep well, stay positive. This is very unusual, but I'm not going to complain because I did want a tea and a coffee. Wow, well, I've got the choice of a latte, cappuccino, flat white, baby chino, hot water, dashing milk for tea, hot chocolate espresso. Oh yeah, this is going to be good. So at least I can get my tea in the morning and actual coffee to get me going. But for now, I'm just going to have a cup of tea.
So just turn the lights off. You can get a much better view now of the airport and the runway. That is brilliant. I'm gonna pull the blinds down and I'll see you in the morning. Well, I actually had a really nice stay. The only issue that I had was with the shower. I felt like I needed to put a towel just outside the door because when my feet were wet, I didn't like the feel of the floor on my feet. And obviously I didn't want to get the rest of the room wet. I found that the water did drain away quite quickly. I now know why the toilet roll had that protective cube over it. It's because it wouldn't get soaked. I tell you what, anyone who actually loves planes will love this hotel, especially looking over the airport. It was great waking up this morning and the blinds opening up and seeing out onto the aircraft, although the only problem was it's a little bit too foggy, so I couldn't see too much. Also, what's great about this hotel is the fact that you come out of your room and then you literally head over into departures. It's like literally two minutes and you can be in the departure lounge. I would definitely stay in this hotel again. I just want to say a massive thank you to Block Hotels for inviting me to come and stay. This video is not sponsored by them. If you like planes, why not check out this video here as I stay on a 747 Jumbo Jet Hotel. Thanks for watching. Do give the video a thumbs up. I'll see you next time.